The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. The Bitcoin price may now potentially be on the brink of an absolutely explosive breakout. What am I seeing in the charts here? And is it indicative of an explosive move here in the short term? Let's dive in and analyze. Well, well, well. Ha ha ha! The dawn is back. It's been nearly two months since I've posted a video, ladies and gentlemen, but rightfully so, because Bitcoin has essentially done nothing, and I don't want to waste my time or your time, but I felt like it was time to come on. Even though right now, Bitcoin still is inside of this general consolidation range, the range which Bitcoin has been trading in since we had the FTX debacle back in November right? Sure, there has been some up and down action in here, but to me, this has been untradeable action, no definitive trend direction, except for the macro direction, which in my opinion is still down, seeing a series of lower highs and lower lows. We have no change in that trajectory, at least not at the time being. And still, above all else, we're just consolidating in a sideways range. I mean, over the past few days, I've seen these moon boys going absolutely ape over the fact that Bitcoin is surging a little bit here. But the thing is, Jimmy, is that nothing has changed, right? And I have this line drawn along the top right here. Bitcoin is pushing up against a possible resistance zone now at around 17,700. And we have another around 18,000 to 18,100. Now, if we pull up the Keltner channels indicator here, which if you are subscribed to this channel, you would know that for me, this has been the most important Bitcoin indicator throughout this entire bear market, starting all the way back in November of 2021. Basically, every time that we've touched the top of the band, Bitcoin has found resistance and continued to trend down. All right. Past performance does not indicate future results. I'm just stating that even on the last Bitcoin pump, it went to the top of the one day Keltner channel band and dumped once more. Right now, we are at the top of the band once again. The only caveat here, ladies and gentlemen, is if you see how this band works, it widens and then thins out. Right now, the band is pretty thin here, so it didn't really take all too much to get to the top of the band, but just keep in mind, right, that we have this horizontal line of potential resistance. We have this line of potential horizontal resistance. And when we turn the Keltner channel back on, we are at a line of potential resistance right here, right now. Let's get this crypto. Just some simple stuff here. I just want to put this on your radar. I mean, there's not a whole heck of a lot to talk about. Um, honestly, right now, I think that the crypto market is still going to be at the mercy of the U.S. equities market, the stock market. If we take a look here at the S&P 500, I mean, just like Bitcoin, this is still on a series of lower highs and lower lows until proven otherwise. Uh, it, it's respected this downward sloping resistance line to a T nearly every time it's tested. Uh, and right now, with the interest rates still tentatively looking to rise, we're going to find out more at the end of the month. But if these interest rates continue to rise, it's going to be, in my opinion, very, very problematic for the equities market and for crypto. So right now, it really, to me, feels like we're at the mercy of the Federal Reserve's policies. Uh, I mean, it seems ridiculous, I know, but the fact of the matter is, is that they're basically controlling the narrative in terms of is this market risk on or is this market risk off? And Bitcoin and, and crypto in general that's the epitome of risk on, okay? At the end of the day, I mean, let's just be real here, folks. Let's just step outside of our little box that we're in. I've been in this space for a very, very, very long time, okay? So don't give me that BS, little Jimmy, that the sky. Listen, at the end of the day, these are basically, in the eyes of your general retail consumer and trader, these are imaginary magic internet tokens, okay? Th this type of asset thrives when degeneracy is peaking, when you have mass euphoria in a bubble type environment like we had back in 2021, okay? When 
your general retail consumer and trader are worried about recession coming, they're worried about getting laid off, inflation is very high, your average person isn't looking to take a bunch of risk and potentially lose a, a large majority of their capital in that type of environment. And this is why you see the stock market struggling. This is why you see the crypto market struggling. People are going into cash and the bond yields have been absolutely stellar lately. I mean, just take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is the U.S. one month T-bill. OK, this in the eyes of the investment world, this is one of the lowest, if not the lowest risk asset that you can have, okay? Because it's basically backed 100% by the government, okay? It's a T-bill one month yielding 4.18%. So people here are able to lock up their money and get one twelfth of 4.8% just for locking their money for one month, okay? Completely risk off, essentially, right? I guess there's always some sort of risk that the government could default, but you get the idea. So in an environment where bond yields are soaring and equities are down, cryptos are down, inflation is up, recessionary fears are up, layoffs are up. This is not a healthy environment for a bull market in crypto, in my opinion. So just observing the market from that perspective, right? I mean, what has changed here? Nothing. Nothing has changed here. I mean, to me, really, trading sideways here has been the best outcome for Bitcoin. I mean, in my opinion, this thing could have gone much lower and it might go much lower. OK, this could wind up being a gigantic bear flag here, right? Bear pole from the FTX debacle. Let's actually just take a measured move here. We'll clone this over, drag it to the potential breakdown point. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, the target for me of a potential heinous uh, bear cycle down to what could be a potential bottom range has always been around 12,000, right? Uh, this has just been it. All of these peaks from back in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, we now have a potential bear flag target there. Also, don't forget this potential bear flag, which we broke down out of, right? With this flagpole, if we take this, clone it, drag it over to that breakdown point. This also has a target down between 12 and 10,000. If we take our Fibonacci tool here, drag it from the bottom of the 2020 low to the peak back in 2021, you could see this gives us our golden 0.618 retracement level just under 12,000 at about 11,600. So there's a lot of confluence here, folks. Um, and the thing is, is that this space right now has a ton of uncertainty surrounding it. OK, just even forget about the the, in my opinion, terrible macro environment right now for risk on assets. Just think about what's going on with FTX. Think about all of the FUD surrounding Binance and these other exchanges and all of these other players going insolvent and all of these right bankruptcy fears and this that and the other thing there are so many negative narratives right now that it's actually surprising to me that bitcoin is even holding this level but what you have to understand is that right now the order books are thin right there really aren't many people buying or selling bitcoin and crypto in general and in my opinion Okay, just my humble opinion as somebody that's been in this market a very long time. The longer that we trade sideways, the larger the move is going to be when we break out of it. Okay, think back to this period here in 2018. Okay, we traded sideways for a really long time, months. Okay, and then when we lost the floor here, whoopsies, we plunged deep down into the crypto abyss. All right. This period from back in 2018 is eerily reminiscent, in my opinion, of what's going on right now here in 2023. So I'm keeping my eye on this. Like I said, I've not been trading this range right now. Uh, to me, there's been nothing to trade. It's just been sideways chop with thin order books. Uh, this is not an optimal environment for me with, with my style and strategy. Okay. Um, I'm just going to continue to watch this. I'm going to watch for a breakout. And the reason why I'm stating that insanity could be next 
is because if we get rejected out of here, the move could be flush and heinous to the downside, right? With a target possibly down in the 12K range. But on the contrary, if we're somehow able to get through this triple resistance that I outlined earlier in the video here, it's possible that we could see a push up into the mid 20K range, maybe 22, 23,000, but it's going to be real tough, folks. Look at all of this old support here, which has already been back tested once and rejected. So in that case, old support did become new resistance. We're looking to possibly test up into that resistance once more here shortly. Uh, and it's going to have to overcome a lot, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, the Keltner channel has been a strong resistance indicator. We have two trend lines here of possible resistance. Overall, macro bear trend. And as you should all know, if you are subscribed to this channel, the analogy that I like to explain it as is when you're in an uptrend, you're looking to climb up the mountain, right? And when it dips, you buy the dip and climb higher. It dips by the dip, climb higher, right? Then in a bear trend, instead of climbing up the mountain, you're looking to ski down the mountain. So it becomes the opposite. You ski down, when it bounces, you short the rip. When it goes down, you ski with it. When it pops back up, you short the rip, then ski down again. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not recommending for you to do anything. I'm just stating theoretically for me, knowing that this is a bearish downtrend, for me, my bias, until we break this downtrend of lower highs and lower lows, my bias has to still be to the downside, right? Looking more so for short opportunity than for long until proven otherwise. But who knows? We might see Bitcoin turn around here. Uh, there are so many factors right now, ladies and gentlemen, that this is a real headache of a range here for me, right? As I stated, so many uh, bankruptcy fears, so many companies doing this, that, and the other thing. Every day you're getting some type of news that this could go wrong, this could go right, the regulations, this, that. Uh, to me, uh, the environment is more important than the charts right now, okay? Doing simple TA here like this, I don't think is going to hold as much weight as it would in a more normal environment. So to me, this is just a holding pattern until the next large player decides to either capitulate or decides to really rip this market up. And that's why I labeled in the thumbnail that insanity is probably coming next because I am expecting a flush move, uh, maybe a move somewhat like this move we had here when FTX went down, okay? So maybe we could get a flush rip up or a flush rip down a large, large move to definitively blast us out of this range and then continue on with the macro trend. But really beyond that, there's not much to talk about here, in my opinion. I mean, Bitcoin is just continuing to trade sideways. It's been trading sideways for months. It's experiencing a period of extremely low volatility, which is rare in this asset class, which is known for its immense volatility. Uh, you know, it, this is lackluster, folks. I mean, I, I wish that it wasn't trading sideways, but unfortunately, really for a long, long time now, Bitcoin has largely traded sideways, and then we get one flush move in the course of a few days, and that's been it. Very weird year here for Bitcoin, right? Really, from the middle of last year, 2022, to right now in early 2023, it's, it's really been a weird time for Bitcoin, and understandably so. We're in a rate hiking environment that Bitcoin has never experienced before. We just had FTX go down. There are other companies at risk of going down. Uh, the space is in a very weird spot. So I do understand it. Uh, unfortunately for me, as someone that's looking at this market realistically, I have to just continue to wait here and see what happens, right? So uh, still for me, really a no trade zone here, unfortunately, but I'm going to wait for what I perceive to be a better risk reward position for myself before hopping back uh, into a trade in this market. And if you're looking to continue to stay updated here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for the thumbs up. And if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe, tick the little bell and select all so you get the notification next time I upload. Welcome to the channel. And well, 
I don't know exactly when I'll post my next update, folks. If we continue to trade sideways here, uh, you know, there's nothing really to update on. If we get a flush move and we start to have volatility, of course I'll be back. But, you know, this video today didn't even really have to be put out. I just figured, you know what? Let me give my people an update here, right? Wish them all a happy new year. Happy new year to you all. And then we'll reconvene once this market finally starts to move again. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, the Don has spoken. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and before I forget, don't fall for any of the fake Kirby accounts posting down in the comment section. They create fake accounts with a nearly identical username and logo to mine, then they reply to your comments with phone numbers and email addresses trying to get you to contact them. You can see several examples on your screen right now. Do not contact these people. So here's how you can verify that it's my actual real account. It's very simple. When you're watching a video on my channel, my real account will always have a gray nameplate behind my name. I also have a verified check mark from YouTube. And just to make it even more obvious that it's me, I always leave a creator heart on my comments. Only the channel owner can leave a creator heart. So if you see the heart plus the gray background and the verified check mark, you know that it's me. If you don't see those things, then it's obviously a fake account. It's as simple as that. They're also creating fake accounts over on Telegram now. So if you are ready to become a VIP, do not go on Telegram and search Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP. You're going to find all fake results. My group is private. When you search that in the search bar, you're getting public results. They're all fake. They're all imposters. So if you're ready to join VIP, the only way to do so is to click the link either in the pinned comment or in the description of my video. If you search for Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP anywhere else, you're going to be getting in contact with a fake. Only use the links in either the pinned comment or the description of my official video. Stay safe and stay smart, my friends. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. Material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell slash long or short any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments. Nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.